so here is the finished product for the backpack. I've got a nice big front pocket here. So this is, is quite deep. I think it's like 15 inches. And it's, it's got a lot of ply because it's a four-way stretch with the Spandora. And then this, this actually like loosens up and I can fit a huge amount of stuff down in here. And then also kind of lash it down so I don't have to worry about anything falling out. I've got a top pocket up here that's a little tighter and can store sort of valuables that I'm going to need throughout the day but that I don't want to, I want to, don't want to be afraid of falling out. And then a smaller pocket at the bottom that is slanted. It's kind of hard to see but it kind of slopes down that I can reach easily while I'm wearing the pack. And then it's got, um, it's like a perfect place I hold my water bottle in there, my like um, Catadine Bee Free and the, the water filter. Also, this one's a little silly, but I have a, I just used a piece of webbing and I cut two holes in it and then like sewed it off so it wouldn't start to rip. So I can use to put my hiking poles in here by poking through those, or it's just a big ice axe loop if I, you know, I want something bigger. On the front of the pack, I use the same sort of foam, like thick foam you would put at the bottom of a gym floor. I use that for the back here. I can pull it out and use it as a sit pad. Um, I used a new four-way stretch mesh here that is, um, is, is pretty resilient. So I, I don't, I'm not afraid of this like tearing or anything like that. Um, a bigger, bigger haul, like haul loop than normal that I would put on and I really put a lot of extra emphasis in making sure that this was all sewed really carefully. So this is actually one of the better, by far one of the better packs I've ever sewed on, on this section up here. I've, I've like no comp, I have no fear that this is going to come apart at this point. I think it was really well done. So for, for this side, I had a pocket I was going to sew here, very similar to the one on the other side that was, um, but just a little bit taller to try to hold my tent and my umbrella in. But I decided, well, I didn't decide anything. I made a mistake and accidentally sewed this in a way that wouldn't let me attach it easily. And because it was a new design, I'd come up with it on my own. Uh, these things happen. So, but instead, I, you know, there are six lashing loops all the way around that I just had as a matter of course added to the body of the pack. So I tried it out and I, actually it's not the end of the world to just use these straps. Um, I actually made it, I just used one of these normal like tent fasteners so I can just pull it real taut there and this is like colorful. I wanted this to be sort of a colorful bag so I'm just using colorful um, you know cable where it makes sense. But otherwise, I'm able to pretty easily store and unstore my um, umbrella while I'm hiking. I can just pull it out and I can slide it back in. So I, th I think that actually is good enough. Um, not perfect, obviously. You know, if I was to make a second pack, I probably would go with the taller pocket on this side. But I actually, I, I don't think I would even find it that annoying to use the just the lashing. So that's that. Moving along down here, um, I used this new ultra thin webbing. It's like an ultra light webbing I got from Quest Outfitters. Really nice, because it's super thin, super lightweight. You can feel it, it's like almost like a fabric, but it holds up a huge amount of weight. And um, I've got a nice, I made a, uh, like a, I used the, I found this new type of buckle or, or um, tightener that I can use to attach the umbrella to the pack. Um, I made a new set of um, Spandora bottomed water bottle holders. And these, you, you've seen me use these throughout the uh, other videos. I can put a ton of stuff in these pockets and still fit a water bottle in. Um, that I've been really pleased with. I can usually hold like three or four bars and then I'll hold the GoPro and battery and my phone in the other one and, you know, two liters of water. Uh, excellent. I'm really liking these a lot. I don't even think I would remake these at this point. These are excellent. Now down here for the hip belt, you can see, again, I just went with like different, a different color line because really this whole pack was just kind of meant to be lots of, lots of wild colors. Uh, you can see the shoulder straps don't even match. I used two different fabrics. Uh, that was intentional. 
Um, the orange stripe was really fun. That was a different um, kind, of, kind of a pain, but just there for the details. Just made it, just to make it look nice and, and have like some matching with the orange on top of the spandora over here. Uh, so in general, it was meant to be kind of just a, a whole whole mess of colors and, and patchwork. As you can see here, I've got like blue to black, and then if this unrolls, it's gonna go back to blue again. So really it is just lots of, of mixed up colors. Another thing I did with this that I really liked is I, I made a wider roll top. So you'll see that the, the, from the main body to the roll top, it's actually quite a bit larger. So that means as I open it up to try to get inside, it, it makes like a funnel. And I, you know, especially, it, really the only thing I'm worried about at this point is being able to get my sleeping bag in there. I always feel like with some of these thinner cloths, it's flopping around and everything. So this is nice to have that kind of big opening. But then also, because it's so long, uh, it gives me plenty of room for, for quickly rolling it up and getting it secured. I also went with just the kind of classic, you know, roll and buckle on top. It's not like the most attractive view. It kind of just puffs up there like a like a little piece of fabric. But I don't I don't really care. I, I think it's fine. And I, I like the ability to just get it in and out quickly. You know, I don't love the way that the Mariposa has it like clipped down in the corners or some of the other ones that end up putting their clips on the side. I just I feel like that gets in the way of actually useful things. Like I'm, I want to have my you know, my tent and my umbrella here and be able to easily reach them. So yeah, all in, it's a, it's a good pack. I think like it's got a couple mistakes. Um, there's some, there's some sewing problems down on one of the pockets. It's not, it's not attached right. Um, I ended up having to, it turns out the, the hip belts are too big for me, even though I made them two inches smaller than the previous pack. I had lost enough weight that since those, that since I made the big blue one, that this one, uh, now even this one was too small, and then, or so I'm too small for it, and then the shoulder straps, I, I don't know how this happened, because I did everything the same measurements as usual, but it, for whatever reason, these shoulder straps are about two inches too long, so while I can get it tight, I can't get it as tight as I like, I like to ride it real high nowadays, um, so that's unfortunate, so if, I'm just going to be making a new pack any day now, I'm going to start it, I'm going to start my next one, um, probably just go with some more bland colors like all black or something like that but um, I'm gonna have to do a giveaway for this one so if you're interested um, and you comment on the channel I will eventually be finding a better home for this so if you're interested you can put a comment in there and I will I will try to do like a raffle or something